In the pre-assembly section, when it was time for the valve lash adjustment, we tightened the valve train to the point of zero lash and then made the necessary inspections. For the final assembly of engines with hydraulic lifters, we need to adjust to zero lash so that all the slack is taken out and then we'll tighten the nuts down another half turn. Once the lifters are installed, every time you rotate the engine, you're slowly wiping off the protective lubricant that you put on the cam lobes earlier. If we follow the firing order of the engine, we'll only have to rotate the cam one full turn to do the whole lash procedure. Here's how you set the starting point. As you rotate, look at the intake lifter or push rod of the number one cylinder. The exhaust will open first and then the intake. As soon as the intake returns to its lowered position, stop rotating. This will mean the cylinder is on its compression stroke and both lifters will be in their lowered positions. If you have non-adjustable rockers, you can install both rocker nuts and tighten and torque them for the number one cylinder. For adjustable type rockers, just like in the pre-assembly, spin the push rod as you tighten the rocker nut. It's kind of hard to tell the exact point where all the slack is gone and the push rod becomes just a little bit harder to spin. While you're turning your wrench and you feel that slight difference in resistance spinning the push rod, you should be at zero lash and the push rod won't move up and down at all anymore. When you get close to zero lash, it helps to hold your wrench up a little bit so that the socket is not sitting right on top of the pivot of the rocker arm. When you're absolutely sure that you're at zero lash, Set your wrench in a straight up and down orientation and then give the nut another half turn. What this does is pinch the plunger down inside the hydraulic lifter to set the preload. But when the engine is running and oil fills up inside the lifters, that preload on the lifter is gonna be what keeps the valve train from making chattering noises. If you're using hydraulic lifters that were run in an engine previously and have oil in them, you might notice that when you add the extra half turn, the valve might actually open a little bit. This is normal, and after a minute or two, if you had a gauge installed, you'd notice that the pressure that's built up inside the lifter will bleed off, and the valve will return to its closed position where it should be. Your firing order will tell you which rocker to adjust next. On a V8 engine, whichever cylinder is next after the number one will already have the intake lifter in the up position. You'll just have to rotate the engine about a quarter turn and watch the intake lifter return to its bottom position. Now you can adjust the rockers for that cylinder. Then carry on through your firing order and each time the next cylinder will have the intake lifter in the up position. When you've gone through all of your rockers, you'll only have rotated the camshaft once and you should have plenty of break-in lube left on the rest of the camera.